and let me welcome you today to uh, to our short webinar. My name is Dwayne Butcher of Lean Frontiers, and I am pleased to bring to you uh, today this webinar with Jamie Andrus of the Shingo Institute. Uh, as you may already be aware, this presentation is actually part of a three-part series uh, related to the Lean People Development Summit. So we're doing these three webinars as kind of a lead up, build up to the Lean People Development Summit, which is being held September 11th and 12th in Savannah, Georgia, beautiful Savannah, Georgia, if you've not had a chance to be there. I put on the main slide here a uh, web address, leanpeopledevelopment.com slash three webinars. By following that link, you'll be able to see the first webinar that was performed by, lean, uh, by an HR manager at Ingersoll Rand. Um, and then you will also be able to register for the future webinar, which is taking place next month, uh, being presented by Gemline. So please follow that link at some point and view the previous webinar and the future webinar. But we are here today for today's webinar. Um, our time here is short, so we are not going to leave time for Q&A. And uh, Jamie, I've not yet made you the presenter or anything, but I think you can hear me. Um, uh, yes. The slide, the slide that's up on my screen now, I didn't plan on putting up here, <laughs> but after talking with you yesterday, uh, it seemed appropriate. Uh, I was explaining that we've had this language around that there's a gap between accounting and lean for, for a number of years. And just as I was speaking with, with Jamie yesterday, there's an apparent gap as well between lean, continuous improvement, and, uh, and HR. So uh, I, I modified this graphic slightly in order to capture that. But what's encouraging to me uh, is that there are, this is actually one of the largest webinars we've had in recent memory with uh, well over a couple hundred uh, registrations. So I'm encouraged that uh, we've struck a nerve here. Uh, the title of your presentation was along the lines of uh, aligning and finding allies between uh, continuous improvement and HR. So hopefully we've struck a nerve and we'll continue to see HR becoming more and more engaged in the lean enterprise. So, But for now, uh, I want to go ahead and introduce our uh, presenter for today, um, I already mentioned her name, Jamie Andrus with the Shingo Institute. Uh, Jamie is Manager of Client and Affiliate Relations at the Shingo Institute, which is part of the Huntsman School of Business at Utah State University. Uh, and I believe Jamie's going to actually share a little bit about the Shingo Institute, uh, which is an organization uh, actually that myself and then Lean Frontiers has long admired, so it's great to, uh, great to do this with you. Jamie has a responsibility of supporting and maintaining the relationships of current affiliates, tracking and managing their activities, and teaching various Shingo workshops. Um, and probably more importantly for our session here today, Jamie has a Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management and a Master of Science in Human Resources from the Huntsman School of Business. Uh, and then finally, one of your other credentials, which I am keenly interested in, Jamie, is that you will be one of the featured speakers at the Lean People Development Summit. So thank you not only for uh, being here today, but for being with us in Savannah in September. So for now, Jamie, I'm going to go ahead and let you take it away from here. Thank you, Duane. I'm really excited to be in Savannah. I've never been to Savannah, so that's exciting for me. Um, as Duane mentioned, I am from the Shingo Institute, which is housed in the John M. Huntsman School of Business at Utah State University. Many of you who, who are familiar with the Lean Continuous Improvement Operational Excellence world will probably recognize the Shingo Prize. Um, we're excited that uh, it's been around a long time. Next year will be our 30th year, 30th for our conference and the prize. We're very excited about that. Um, a few, I guess about 18 months ago, um, I was approached and um, by uh, one of my affiliates, McKinsey, um, and company, they asked if my if I would be willing to participate in a lean HR 
round table forum with with HR and lean getting together leaders um, apparently there is need for communication so uh, a, a fellow colleague of mine Dr. Steve Hanks and I went to work and started interviewing organizations we started with uh, HR leaders uh, HR uh, business partners HR generalists to talk about um, building some synergy in the lean transformation. So thus you can see that is the name of the talk that I'll be giving in September as well as uh, the beginnings of that that I will address today. The learning objectives we found for our research is how, how HR, how CI leaders can facilitate continuous improvement in the HR function, how having HR on board can accelerate lean transformation, some common barriers um, that we've seen between HR and CI, and then some strategies for overcoming those barriers. Because the People Development Conference is going to be focused on the HR piece, that's why I've highlighted this learning objective and how I'd like to talk a little bit about that today, um, having HR on board how can that accelerate a lean transformation. I'm going to begin by letting you know a little bit about the Shingo model. So I've put the Shingo model up on the screen. When I came to the Shingo Institute, I had studied um, part of our master's degree in human resources. We have an operational excellence class. So we learned about um, the Toyota uh, principles, the Toyota Way, the Toyota production system. We learned um, quite a bit about some of the tools and systems and learned, had, had a decent background on, the, on, um, on continuous improvement. And then we learned, of course, about the Shingo Institute, the Shingo model in, uh, as part of uh, you know, our university. So when I moved into this role at the Shingo Institute, I had some pretty good background. I was pretty um, excited because uh, if you look at the Shingo model, you'll see that um, right there on the bottom of that pyramid are the cultural enablers piece, uh, lead with humility and respect every individual. If you'll notice to the left, the diamond, you'll see systems and tools and the results, guiding principles, but the culture is out front. We're going, the, the model basically talks about um, and teaches people how to live the principles, uh, the behavioral principles that are, um, that are very apparent in the Shingo model. And we've, we've built some workshops around that. What I want to say to you today is it's imperative that the HR leaders, business partners, HR generalists have a foundational understanding of the tools and the systems of lean and operational excellence in order to be supportive. So we're, I'm pretty excited about it and pretty, uh, pretty passionate about the Shingo model and how it fits in with uh, human resources. It's it's very uh, it's very apparent as you'll see in the pyramid here. These are all of the principles that guide the Shingo guiding principles: uh, cultural enablers, the continuous improvement um, principles, enterprise alignment, and the results. We have many companies using the Shingo guiding principles, using the Shingo model, understanding it deeper, and uh, they are really, really doing a great job of succeeding uh, on their lean journey. And, and it's become great, great places to work. And isn't that what it's all about for our human resources? Is we want to get the right people into organizations, get them, um, you know, in the right seat on the bus, and you know, enjoying work and making the business work because we know as HR professionals that it's the people that are the most important and it's what we touch. We have the first touch of those people coming into the organization. We are able to help the organization align and get the right people with the right culture fit into organizations. So important. 
Um, as part of that lean transformation, there needs to be a bit of an HR transformation. And I think those of you working in HR realize that there are some things that HR can do to help transform the way their own department works and helps align with lean transformations. So I'd like you to look at this slide here and you can see some of the some of the um, uh, points that that are that can be uh, used in these lean transformation and HR transformation. So if we look at the right side of the slide where under HR transformation, we can see that there are many things that you could do to help your HR um, group align with the organization, especially those continuous improvement leaders. We, we know that we can have global service centers. We know that many of our old practices that were handwritten forms are now all online. We know the difference now in, um, it, I just think back to the first time I did um, an HR internship and I was responsible for getting all the I-9s and there were forms that people filled out you know by hand and we had them bring in their identification and we put it on the copy machine and how did we how did we put it in the employee file and you know there were all these things that were so transactional day to day that that many of these operations have been streamlined and been turned into um, easy, easy practices that are all online or self-serving service centers. Um, we're looking for service uh, centers of excellence. Um, we I can identify and help spread those best practices. We can raise the capabilities of our HR business partners. So let me just say right here, this is where you as HR leaders can take your HR folks, your team, and help them get up to speed with the human resources uh, practices that fit in with those lean, with those continuous improvement practices. Lean your own practices up first, but teach them and teach them to understand. Start with the terminology, the basics. Um, these are some of the things that we can do to really get the capabilities of those HR business partners up to speed not only with, um, you know, there's a big drive right now in, um, in the HR world to get people to really be up to speed with business practices and understanding uh, of accounting and uh, how the alignment of the financial uh, models of business work and how the business works and where the customer fits in. So this is part of the, the capabilities that the human resources um, group can work toward driving these business performance uh, you know via these robust talent strategies boy that's a that's a big topic that we could open up and uh, it, it's just a wide ocean of, of talent strategies and getting the right people and organizations um, into the organization and uh, how we're how we're working with uh, putting those right people getting them trained cross training all these things that human resources can do and organize finally organizational effectiveness uh, many of us are trained to do um, uh, change management that's part of the HR business partners role and the HR leaders role um, one of the things that we found as we interviewed and studied and talked with people, so maybe let me just tell you a little bit about what we did. I mentioned that we, we interviewed um, HR leaders and we also interviewed continuous improvement leaders. We interviewed HR business partners, we interviewed continuous uh, improvement leaders, uh, supply chain managers, um, the whole, uh, you know, in some in some cases, we talked with um, the organizations uh, or the site manager, or the um, the the plant managers, and continuous improvement leads. So we did a we did a series of interviews over the course of about eighteen months, talking about 
organizations and one of the things we we could see and we had one of our really really uh, seasoned HR and continuous improvement leader someone that holds both of those roles say you know it really makes a difference if HR is in sync or out of sync are we in sync or out of sync are we doing our own deal are we playing from the same playbook um, or are we on different playbooks or are we competing um, are we facilitative of those HR processes do we have the common goals and I've already mentioned how important it is um, to get the right talent in the organization and how important that strategic piece is so if you look at your organization are you in sync or are you out of sync with the alignment of the organization on my next slide I'd like to talk a little bit about growing these lean capabilities um, I mentioned this already how can HR grow and truly understand these principles and systems and tools and then finally the behaviors associated with lean management um, how can the organization HR organizations deepen their understanding I have a suggestion uh, volunteer to teach uh, some of the those uh, lean practices uh, if you can go around to the organization and and uh, help develop the the training and teaching for 5s or um, you know some of the the tools that are being used in your organization imagine what a great contribution you can make um, what skills and capabilities are most important for the HR professionals uh, to be successful in a lean management environment uh, I think that um, one of the things that we discovered through our interviews were that HR folks once they get um, an idea of what the lean principles the lean systems and tools are they can start looking inward and thinking about how they lean their own processes so for instance I'll just tell you a short story about one of our um, uh, one of our lean coaches who, who who was brought up in HR was an HR manager at a site and then was so good with the lean and the continuous improvement at his site that they've made him um, a global coach or a global sensei so he had has been on both sides of the fence so it was exciting to talk to him but he said for instance um, we had a drug screening um, uh, process and a company that we were using a vendor at a company and uh, I went in and I asked um, okay so why are we using um, this current drug screening process I've noticed that you've made a change and they said oh yeah well we went to the latest HR conference and we found this great new screening vendor and we just love this vendor it's so great and the coach said to them well what do, what do you what do you think that's so so good about this uh, drug screening because I've noticed that um, each person that's screened uh, is now costing us over a hundred dollars for every person that we use this drug screening vendor for whereas our old vendor uh, it was uh, like fifteen dollars so there was quite a big uh, discrepancy and the coach told us the, the the lean coach said you know sometimes the HR folks just want to get the latest and the greatest and because it's a law or because it's the policy they have the freedom to choose which one which vendors and and what they deem is most important but if they're thinking along the lines of lean and continuous improvement would they have done that would they have chosen that more expensive um, vendor even though we know that the um, the low-cost vendor was offering the same service and the results were the same so think about what you can do um, as an HR professional to grow your own lean capabilities personally within your department within your organization and how it can align how can you help we know that um, Millennials are joining our workforce they're changing the way that we look at um, 
our organizations, they're bringing their technology, their ease, and, and uh, we're bringing in more diverse people. So let me just say that what we would like to see is that HR can move forward. We can be diverse. Um, we can be problem solvers. We can be coaches. We can be um, facilitators. Let's use our skills to help support the organization. Um, human, human capital systems play a huge and critical role, um, as we know, in the talent selection and onboarding, uh, the talent training, which I've mentioned already, the development and the retention of the organization. Uh, organizational change, uh, how we reward, how our reward system is set up. This is a huge opportunity for HR to take a role because as we know, those of us that are, are, are pretty well versed in lean understand that the frontline employees are the ones doing the work. They have the greatest suggestions. They need to, how are their ideas recognized and how are they rewarded? Imagine if HR is brought in um, in the design of these reward systems, how much more effective that would be. Um, we, we're, we're very well versed in leadership development, and if we aren't, we should be. We should be looking for leaders who are developing and working um, that have the mindset of continuous and uh, enterprise excellence, continuous improvement and enterprise excellence. And what about the comprehensive talent, talent management systems um, that can really ensure that the right talent is in the right place at the right time? Um, succession planning is huge in HR, and this is something that you can really help um, align with your organization. So if your continuous improvement leaders aren't coming to you and saying, hey, we need your help, we think you're valuable, we know that you have a lot to offer. Maybe it's time for you to step up and say, look, we understand what you're doing. We want to support you. Let us help. Let us start by helping with your training or your development and, and uh, your new employees. Um, how would you like to see as we bring on new employees onto, into the organization? Would you like us to include a few questions in our screening or in our interview process? that brings up the ideas of continuous improvement um, and, and understand if people are willing to, to dive in and make those changes. Um, what I think you'll see if you do take this um, role is you're going to see that you're going to be able to um, offer some great value. Uh, you, uh, you, can, you can see that there's the employee value proposition. We understand the customer value proposition. Remember that as HR leaders, your customers are the employees. Those continuous folks, continuous improvement folks, they're your customers as well. They're your internal customers. Uh, so in order to create value in the organization, we need to be able to understand as HR professionals the employee value proposition, the customer value proposition, as well as the investor value proposition. How can we come together and join and let your organization say we're all in, HR is in. We're going to join our hands, we're going to serve, but we can be leaders and we can inspire and we can help to build the organization to become a more uh, effective uh, organization in their continuous uh, improvement and lean journey. So it's my hope that you'll, you'll think about this as you understand um, your role in a lean journey, that you'll join uh, me in Savannah. Uh, also, the Shingo Institute has a number of events that we also um, uh, have as a place where you can come and learn more about the Shingo model. We'll be in um, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota in August for our Shingo Manufacturing Summit. We'll be in, uh, we'll be doing an event and supporting an event in Utah in September. There will also be a fabulous study tour and we'll 
uh, finally our annual conference will be in Orlando next spring. So thank you for having me today. Uh, Duane, it's been a pleasure and uh, I think we're about ready to wrap it up. Sure Back to are. you. Well, Jamie, thanks so much for, uh, for sharing some of your insights here. Um, obviously, there's a lot more that you could have shared from the research that you all did and yes um, I would encourage encourage you if you uh, if you would like to, to reach out to Jamie uh, meet her in person at the lean people development summit maybe over some coffee you can share uh, share some more insights from from your research that would be great and in my talk I plan to share some of our actual experiences with some fabulous uh, human resource leaders uh, you're going to you're going to hear some pretty exciting things that they're doing uh, so I plan to share some stories and some actual um, uh, scenarios and ideas that they've used on their lean journey great well I also Jamie will invite you uh, since you've not been to Savannah before I've got some tips on some of the best restaurants in Savannah <laughs> for, I can't for a wait. small for a small city, you will be shocked at the, the mm -hmm. quality, the world-class quality of some of the restaurants there. So uh, I don't know if you've heard of Paula Dean. She's uh, oh. on the, the Food Network. She's got a great restaurant if you're looking for fried chicken and southern food. There's also the Pink House, which used to be the governor's mansion. is wow. unbelievable. So I look forward to it. <laughs> hopefully you and I can share a dinner over a, over at the People Development Summit. So, Let's Jamie, do it. thank you again thank for, you, uh, for being here. You're welcome. And I have just a few things I want to do to wrap us up today. So where do you go from here? Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed what uh, Jamie had to share with us. We do have some takeaways for you. I put here first up on the screen um, a survey that we're doing, and I'd like you to do this right now like as in right now uh, or as soon as we finish with this uh, my, my brief closing here this survey is meant because it looks like the majority of you that are on our webinar today are at the beginning stages of your lean journey especially those of you who are in HR the survey is meant at a very basic level to try to capture where you're at, what your company's dealing with, what you're dealing with, and help you to benchmark where you are in comparison to some of your peers that are looking at some of these same issues. So go there uh, before 5 o'clock. The reason I said do it now is because I'm going to close it down at 5 o'clock uh, so that I can compile the results tonight and we'll send out the results tomorrow. So just a short window on this survey. It literally will take uh, 60 seconds to two minutes at the most and uh, you'll get some good information tomorrow where you can kind of benchmark where you are with others uh, uh, around the globe who are, who are pursuing this. The second thing I'd like to encourage you to do is sign up for the final webinar in our series. Uh, Susan Camacho of Gemline, uh, Susan is uh, an HR leader at Gemline, will be sharing a presentation called Making Culture Visuals Come Alive, Three Easy Steps. So uh, Susan's presentation will be very practical, be something you can walk away with and hopefully uh, begin some implementation right away. Further ways to grow and learn and connect uh, along your journey here in this, this space. Uh, we have a, a LinkedIn group. I know most of you are on LinkedIn. That's how a lot of you found out about this webinar. There's a, a group out there called the Lean People Development Group. Uh, and I put a link there. It's a little bit convoluted with the web address, but type that in. You'll find the group. Join away and uh, participate in the discussion. What questions do you have? What are you struggling with? Uh, what's working, what's not working, and let's let's begin the conversation. Finally, obviously, I'd like you to join us in Savannah, uh, not only to sit down with Jamie and have some coffee and talk about her research and her further insights and learn more about the Shingo model, uh, but also meet with your peers, those that are in HR, those that are in continuous improvement, those at other levels of management throughout the organization are all going to be there and focusing on the subject of how to get HR engaged in the lean enterprise and, and talent acquisition and performance uh, measurements and um, really developing the people uh, that are gonna that are gonna carry forward um, what, what your company's trying to do in, in the lean enterprise. Uh, 
you can learn more about that at leanpeopledevelopment.com. Uh, we're offering a, uh, uh, a modest 10% discount if you register using the discount code webinar. Uh, but I do hope that you'll take that seriously. There is a, an enormous opportunity for you in HR, in continuous improvement, other, uh, other uh, levels of management throughout the organization to come and literally meet with the who's who of this space. Um, we're excited to have not only the, the Shingo Institute, but a uh, representative from LEI, uh, Karen Gaudet, will be speaking. Um, we have AME will be represented and in attendance uh, so that you can meet some of their leadership. All incredible organizations that have done a lot for moving forward uh, the lean enterprise. But not only can you meet uh, those uh, individuals from those types of organizations, but you'll meet your peers from uh, companies throughout the, uh, North America and really around the globe um, to be able to learn what's working for them, what's not working for them, and share your struggles and and uh, make some connections. Hopefully, connections that will last beyond uh, even this summit. Uh, and finally, it's a who's who list of uh, of presenters. Um, Cheryl Jekyll, who wrote the book on Lean HR, and I mean that literally. She wrote the book Lean HR. Uh, will be at the summit as well, and would, uh, it's going to be one of our featured keynotes. Would love to uh, to meet you and spend some time with you as well. So come to Savannah, September 11th, 12th. Join us in some coffee with your peers, some great presentations, some great inspiration, and we uh, look forward to learning more with you then. So until then, we'll see you in Savannah, y'all. Bye.